everyone, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and welcome to another Sketch Sunday video. This week I am using the My Favorite Things sketch and I will show you guys what it looks like. And I will leave a link below to the sketch. So for this it kind of had um, a lot going on. So I simplified it a little bit. There are there's two, four, five circles and I only did three. And then I added some additional elements that weren't on there. But there was a stitched uh, rectangle around the outside and a banner on the going from one end of the card to the other, which is where I put the sentiment. Uh, let me show you guys real quick what the card looks like. And the glossy accents are not dry yet, so I will show you what I did. So I can't close the card all the way, but that's what it looks like. And then this is the interior. So the first thing that I did was I took a pre-made card base and scored it. It was one of the ones that I bought at AC More the other day when they were on sale. And then I went through my paper stash and I found some paper that I had from my sister-in-law's baby shower. Um, they didn't find out if they were having a boy or a girl, so we did uh, blues, greens, and pinks for her shower. So this was one of the papers that I had from her shower so I just cut off a square that was exactly the same size as the card front so four and a quarter by five and a half and then I used the very largest of uh, my favorite things in and out diagonal stitched rectangular stackables die so with this one it only cuts it on the interior of the die or interior of the paper gives it kind of like, let me just see if you can see it, if you can see those little, it just leaves like little tick marks all throughout it. If you use some of the other ones, it leaves it on the inside and the outside, but because this one is skinnier, so if you look at these, this is one die versus this, so it just leaves it on the piece that you have, the cutout that you have. So I did that, and then I took my Martha Stewart Punch Around the Page circle punch and punch three holes. Now they're not exactly, the top two are not exactly even and I didn't really want them to be. I kind of wanted them to be a little off center because if you look at the sketch, they are not the same height. So since the pattern paper was kind of busy, I decided not to do anything with the stripes. But if you notice, the circles that are in the pattern kind of make stripes. So that's kind of where I got that inspiration from. And then in the really cute penguin set, I went through and I was looking for little characters that maybe we could just like peek out of the circles. So what I did was I found the penguin ones. This is the Penguins in Paradise the new stamp set that I got. And I really thought these were cute. I had used the penguin laying on the towel the other day. So I decided to use the three other penguins. This little guy up here and then the guy holding the drink and the guy in the tube to do that. I cut out the coordinating dies, which are also called Penguins in Paradise. So I cut those out of 65 pound white cardstock. And I took some black My Favorite Things licorice hybrid ink and inked up all of the stamps. I also cut out the flower and the drink that are on here and stamped those as well. And then what I did was I used a bunch of different colors of markers. So I used some Spectrum Noir markers and uh, Pro markers. And then I also added in one Distress marker. So for the blue on the bathing suit, I used this Pro marker, which is Royal Blue. I used for their feet, I used sunflower. I also use that for the outside of the flower. For the interior pieces of the flower, I use, or I'm sorry, the exterior pieces of the flower because it goes, it gets dark, it's dark in the middle and then lightest on the outside. I covered the whole thing in saffron and then went back over it with the, um, what did I just say, the sunflower marker to kind of give it some dimension. I used CG2 for the drink, the ice cream, the little popsicle that he has, and the flute. And, oh, I'm sorry, I also used the royal blue on the, uh, 
on the umbrella. So I don't know if you can really see it. They're very, very tiny. So for also for the umbrella, I use the Spun Sugar Distress Ink Marker. I used the Dark Pro Marker Ice Gray 5 to go around the penguin first, and then after that I went over it with IG-10. That gives him his darker images. And then Ice Gray 1, I colored around right between the white and the black part of the penguin, kind of just give it a little bit of a shadow, and it also gives a little bit of depth to the penguin. I also used that on the straws on the interior one. I don't think I colored the exterior one. I think I'll have to do that. Realize I did not color that. Um, I didn't use putty or anything. I used the terracotta marker for the drink on the front. So now I'm going to try to see if you can see. See those lines in it? I actually took what is the blender pen and that kind of takes the ink away from what you've colored. So it kind of just went and did some cross hatching to it and to give it a little bit of dimension. So that was how I colored in all of my images and then after I had cut all of the little holes out I went and I stuck the characters behind it. I did use some glossy accents on the drink here, the popsicle, and the tube. I think they might be dry. Yep, they're dry now. Okay. So I can actually close the card and show you guys. So that's what the card looks like. And then I took a piece of blue scrap paper that I had lying around and I stamped the sentiment Let's Chill on it. So that's the card there. That's my sketch Sunday for this week. Hopefully I will be able to start putting cards together on camera. I just really haven't had much time. I just kind of create and do things as I go and I, I really, with all the coloring that this card had, I didn't want to bore you guys with the coloring parts of the video. So I figured once I would put the card together, I would just show you guys. Hopefully in the coming weeks, my schedule will be less and less uh, work stuff and I'll be able to do more here and I will be able to create the card and then show it to you guys and recreate it during sketch Sundays. It just hasn't worked out lately. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below and I will see you next week for another sketch Sunday. Bye!